So how do you express yourself or your opinion? Um, I express myself by writing m mostly. I um, write short stories and um, it's a good outlet. <laughs> Okay, how do you express yourself or your opinion? I'd say I express myself very boldly and passionately, lots of ambition. I uh, kind of go get it done, uh, whether everyone else likes it or not. How do you express yourself or your opinion? I express my opinion by just being honest and confident in who I am and what I think, and I say what I feel. How do you express yourself or your opinion? I express myself in my clothes. Most people think I'm a rainbow, but most other times I I write a blog online and I talk about topics like how Lieutenant General Michael Flynn once said that Islam was an ideology, but it's really not. It's more of a practice of life. Awesome. I don't think all of it because um, you can also say a lot of like with body like. Um, how do you say it? Body language. Body language. But of course language helps you a lot. Like, I mean, I wouldn't be trying to express myself right now if I didn't know English. So it's basically trying to interact with people like worldwide and it's just, language is everything. Without language, we wouldn't be like able to just be like a society and like work together. I think it's very important. <laughs> I think that language can let me express like myself, but I think it can be like, you can express yourself with like body language too, that, so that's like a kind of another language. So I don't believe that there's just like one kind of language, I think that there's a lot. And yeah, I think it can totally do that. And since I'm here in my exchange here, I can totally see how annoying it is if you can't express yourself because you just don't know all the words. So language is super. No. Welcome. Um, I think that uh, you know sometimes I'll hear people talking in a different language that don't speak English, and they'll be searching for the right word and say there's no translation. So it always makes me curious that the it's like Orwell said the slovenliness of our language that contributes to our foolish thoughts. <clears throat> English can be a very imprecise language, but we try to fit our emotions and thoughts into into those words so some languages have a dozen different words to define love we use love for pizza the romantic and uh, friendships <clears throat> so i think that uh, oftentimes we're limited by our language by our words to formulate our thoughts internally and to express them to other people so i think language is a limiting factor in our ability to convey our thoughts is language the best way to express an idea or emotion, or do you think it only tells part of a story? I think it only tells part of the story. Um, if you're walking through the desert and it rains and you can smell the creosote bushes, there is not a precise way to describe that. You can come close, but it's not exact. Or... Is language the primary way to express an idea or emotion, or do you think it only tells part of a story? Um, I think it only tells part of a story because uh, I think actions contribute to a lot of our deeper intentions that we aren't so conscious about. Go ahead. What means more? What you say or how you say it? I think that in general, how you say things determines how they're received by people. So I think that, I think that although what you say is important, um, for it to really be impactful for the other person, it like depends on how you say it. What's more important, what you say or how you say it? I tend to believe it's more important how you say something rather than what you say, because if you deliver someone bad news with a smile on your face, then they might believe it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> What's more important, what you say or how you say it? I tend to believe it's more important how you say something rather than what you say, because if you deliver someone bad news with a smile on your face, then they might believe it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> what means more, what you say or how you say it? How you say it, it 
I don't know. It's me. It depends on the connotation, like what context everything's happening in, uh, your tone of voice, if you're being sarcastic. I don't know. Carly, this is 